Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are here to talk about being the Ricardos. Now this did have a theatrical release December the 10th I believe it was but it came out on Prime Video on the 21st. So when I saw the trailer for it, it didn't officially, officially captivate me. So that is why I upped it to wait till it came out on Amazon Prime. The movie wasn't necessarily what I thought it was going to be, but I also didn't really know what it was going to to be. I thought because it is called Being the Ricardos, we were going to focus a little bit more on the I Love Lucy show, which I absolutely, absolutely adore the I Love Lucy, one of my favorite uh, sitcoms of all times. I don't watch it as much anymore because I don't necessarily watch TV that much anymore. I do see more movies, but whenever it, I happen to stumble ac across it, I will stay there and watch it. I've seen all their episodes, absolutely love it. Uh, my parents, this is one of the shows that they watched when you know when they uh came to the states and my mom says we didn't understand a word they were saying but we truly truly enjoyed lucy and her shenanigans this is more on the behind the set we are of course in the 50s when the show was going we were like um season two i believe it was and the movie does take place within a week from the table read to when it was going live and it was a heck of a heck of a week you guys like oh my goodness within this week lucille ball gets accused of being a communist um she also ends up uh, finding out she is pregnant we're dealing with desi's infidelity as much as he does love lucy you know he cannot keep it in his pants uh we're dealing with vivian um vivian's weight loss and how she is unhappy playing this character and there's a lot you guys that i didn't know of as much as i do love the show i actually have not looked into the show into their lives so there was a lot of stuff that i didn't know we have nicole kimmy who's playing lucio ball javier bardam desi arnez uh, nina ardiana who's playing vivian vance jk simmons is playing william uh frawley so we're talking about the real actual actors um not lucy ricky fred or ethel i did not realize just how involved these two people were within their show and I know that some people are very much involved, but others aren't. Some people are, you know, are as much as they're able to because of course the studio will push them into this is what we want you to be pushed to. But Lucio and, and Desi, they were not about that life. They were very much in there and running their show and getting their way uh, point blank with the pregnancy. Um, Luce, uh, the I Love Lucy show was one, was, was the show that, um, first had a pregnant woman there they wanted to hide it from you know the public we're gonna have you holding a laundry basket we're gonna have you doing this and we're gonna hide you behind chairs and they were just like nope you're gonna write it into the show now of course in the movie it's a whole like will they let them will they not and it was so funny how the whole thing of don't mess with the cuban and he's just like and the show itself just like how groundbreaking it was being one of the first female um powerhouses um the way that they used a multi-camera uh a setup yeah, i mean a lot of the things that were first done in this show is what people still use were using have been using um to to this day i mean they just literally opened up the doors for all these possibilities she was very 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 well spoken she knew how to use her voice she was not one to back down she was like I am here and you are going to listen to me. Now as far as JK and Nina who play Ethel and Fred, I was just like, I don't see you as Fred or Ethel. But again, I'm not supposed to see them as Fred or Ethel. I'm supposed to see them as Vivian and William. Now as far as the Oscar talk goes, uh, Nicole Kidman is, you know, up there within Best Actress um, nominations. I think she will get in for this. I think she would maybe be like my third pick because Kristen Stewart, I would still put her as my number one and I just recently saw uh, the eyes of Tammy Faye and that was really good so I would put Jessica Chastain there second and then I would put Nicole Kidman for for Lucy now you will have a bit of nostalgia going in when they do show like the process of how Lucio is going to set up certain things or when they're talking about certain um episodes that they're thinking about doing and they do show it of course you know with them not with the real actors and all the episodes I was like I know that episode and I know that episode so you'll have the nostalgia feeling uh to it if you are a fan of I Love Lucy I think you would really enjoy this I think you should definitely watch it um it's not like the greatest thing but it's not 
terrible. Um, it is currently uh, on Amazon Prime and in theaters. Before I do give you my score, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. I'm gonna give Being the Ricardos a medium of popcorn. If you've seen Being the Ricardos, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? If you haven't checked it out yet, are you planning to? Or are you just gonna go ahead and skip on it? Have you seen the show I Love Lucy? If you have not, go immediately and check it out because it's an amazing, amazing show. Now, if you've seen I Love Lucy, let me know down below what is your favorite episode. I feel like most people are gonna pick The Vitamin of Benjamin. That's a great one. I love that one. And I really like uh, the, you know, when she tells Ricky that she's pregnant. That was a super, super sweet one. But I don't know, you know, a bottle of this stuff. Can't beat that. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can. But that's the one that really, like, sticks to me. I'm pretty sure the one that sticks to everybody. All right, guys. That is it for me today. Until next time, see you guys at concession. And happy new year. Bye.